Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Tui here. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, the return of CM Punk, guys. So we got the return of CM Punk and Randy Orton. Yo, uh, so Survivor Series 2023 was actually really, really good. Besides some of the matches that were kind of like filler matches, like the Rhea Ripley versus Zoe Stark. I felt like it was a um, filler match. And then we had uh, Santos Escobar versus a Dragon Lee, which I feel like was a kind of like a filler match too, because like, yeah, there's a storyline, but it just wasn't like there, you know? Like, the matches were all right, but we already knew who the winners were. Um, The Miz versus Gunther was actually a decent match, but I did like the ending. I know some people didn't like the ending, but I liked the ending a lot where Gunther um, did a Boston Crab or whatever, put his knee on the Miz's back, and then uh, the Miz tapped out right away. I think that was a really good uh, finisher. And it made uh, Gunther look really strong. So I think it was a good ending to that match. Um, what else? We got the Women's War Games. Really good. Even though Damage Control didn't win, which a lot of people were surprised. I feel like Bailey getting pinned is going to be the next storyline going forward with Damage Control. Where they're going to be kicking Bailey out of the group. Because uh, Bailey uh, took the pin and lost. So that's where I think they're going to go with that storyline. But I'm I'm not sure what they're going to do with like, um, you know, like Becky Lynch, Bianca Blair and all that. Because like, yeah, they win, but they're the baby faces, you know. It's like, what are they going to do, you know? Like, they win, but it's like, they're the baby faces. Like, they didn't need to win, but it is what it is. And uh, I think that was pretty much it. And then it just went to the men's uh, war games. And holy crap, really, really good match. Like, the storytelling, everything was really, really good. And uh, throughout the whole day, they were just trying to say, like, oh, my gosh, where's Randy Orton? Is he ever going to come out? And all that stuff. It's like, okay, like, they already promoted Randy Orton. Like, we already know he's coming out. And, uh, yeah, literally, uh, Damian Priest was going to cash in because that was part of their plan. Which I, I was like, okay, yeah. They got to do some kind of cash-in or whatever. But obviously, couldn't cash in because uh, Randy Orton comes out. Big pop, huge pop. Love it. And the first person Randy Orton RKO's is uh, Dirty Dom, guys. So happy that happened. Um, that's crazy. Dirty Dom got uh, RKO'd. And then uh, the ending was really good. Uh, Randy Orton just goes, destroys everybody. Top rope, uh, JD McDonough gets uh, pushed off by Sami Zayn and Seth Rollins. And then Randy Orton is there to give him the RKO. So he's out. And then uh, Cody Rhodes with the crossroads to Damian Priest. Perfect ending. The baby faces win. Perfect. Randy Orton returns. And then for some reason, nothing happened. Like we're, We were surprised that Randy Orton didn't turn on anybody. And it was like still 10 minutes left in the uh, like Survivor Series or whatever. And it's like, okay, so what are we going to do for 10 minutes? Stand there and like nothing's going to happen? And then the infamous, long gone CM Punk after 9 years returns. Like nobody could believe it, guys. Biggest pop ever. Like holy crap, guys. We're getting CM Punk uh, chants throughout the whole night. CM Punk returns and then they just cut it off like so we don't even know what CM Punk said off air you know it's like crazy how they did that but CM Punk comes out big pop I'm like excited that CM Punk returned and then now in the press conference uh Triple H was is saying how um CM Punk is actually going to wrestle and it's not going to be a one time thing so happy for that happy for Randy Orton like Randy Orton and CM Punk in the same pay-per-view. Two returns. We got Cody Rhodes. Oh my gosh. The, the, it was stacked at the end. Like the pay-per-view was alright. But it was literally. This pay-per-view was literally made for Randy Orton. And CM Punk. Like. That was the whole story behind. Uh, the Survivor Series was literally Randy Orton returning. And um. A possible return of CM Punk. And it actually happened. I'm glad it happened. 
Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do I rate Survivor Series? I would definitely just rate it probably like a 7 out of 10. Wasn't the greatest pay-per-view. The men's um, War Games match was uh, actually pretty decent. But I feel like those are way better uh, War Game matches in my opinion. It wasn't the best. It was just a bunch of baby faces versus the Judgment Day. And it's like we've seen uh, like those matches so many times on Raw. Like Seth Rollins, Cody Rhodes, Sami Zayn. Like we've seen all those matches with Judgment Day. So nothing new to me. I mean... The only thing that made it worth watching was Randy Orton and CM Punk. But yeah, guys, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of CM Punk's big return after nine long years. And especially, you know, the man, Randy Orton. Not Becky Lynch, but Randy Orton. The GOAT. The RKO Guide. The Legend Killer. I'm excited for Randy Orton. CM Punk, I don't know what he's going to be doing, but I feel like Moving forward, he could uh, get into a feud with Shinsuke Nakamura. We don't know yet because Shinsuke has been uh, doing all these um, short like um, clips. Not, I would say clips, but I don't know how to explain it. It's like on top of my tongue. Like, like these short um, vendettas or whatever of like, oh, who's going to be the guy to step up and all that. So it could be CM Punk, but we don't know. Um, but other than that, I think CM Punk... Should go for uh, the world title. Not Seth Rollins. But Roman Reigns. Because Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman. Is going to play a big role in that field. If that does happen. And it could happen this Wrestlemania guys. My feeling is. Feeling is if it does happen this Wrestlemania. The storyline is going to be. Between uh, Paul Heyman. And who he's going to choose. Uh, between if he's going to be loyal to Roman Reigns. Or uh betray Roman Reigns and uh, go back with CM Punk and how they used to be. So that would be a great storyline if that does happen. Um, other than that, Randy Orton returning, not turning on anybody. I feel like Randy Orton is definitely going to turn on Cody Rhodes or uh, Seth Rollins like on a Monday Night Raw or something because there's no way Randy Orton's not uh, turning because like, there was already uh, like seeds planted of Randy Orton trying to turn but then I feel like he didn't turn at Survivor Series because they want to like lead out the storyline and like have like a one-on-one -on -one, uh turn on not just like RKOing like you know Cody Rhodes during the Survivor Series match because all the guys are there you know so I feel like it's going to be like a longer storytelling of like why Randy Orton's going to turn on Cody Rhodes and then they can have their own feud but other than that, really good Survivor Series show. I think there was only like five matches, which is really good because if they had like six or seven matches, I don't know. I feel like the crowd would just be dead. Because two out of the three matches, like the Women's Championship, the Rhea versus Zoe Stark, and the Santo Escobar match, those are like basically like filler matches in my opinion. Um, But yeah, other than that, it's your boy Tui. If you guys love wrestling content, leave a comment down below who your favorite wrestler is, what you rate this pay-per-view out of 10. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next uh, reaction, guys.